if you're HIV positive and you're wondering, are there ways I can save my unborn baby from the virus? Yes, there are ways. And you are not alone. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, while AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. HIV is a virus that causes AIDS. AIDS is the result of progression of HIV infection. So a person gets infected with HIV and over the years, if unattended, can progress to AIDS. Hence, not everyone who is infected with HIV has progressed to AIDS. Everyone with AIDS is, effect, is infected with HIV, of course. So anyone infected with HIV, although healthy, can transmit the virus to another person. By implication, if a woman is HIV positive and appears healthy, she can transmit the virus to her baby during pregnancy, labor, delivery, and breastfeeding. According to the World Health Organization, 38 million people in the world were living with HIV, and 7.1 million people living with HIV did not know they were HIV positive at the end of 2019. The burden of HIV in children has been noted to be due to some factors, including poor knowledge of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and poor access to prevention of mother-to-child transmission interventions, especially in rural areas. And for these reasons, I thought it needful to bring the knowledge about mother-to-child transmission of HIV to us. Now, mother-to-child transmission of HIV occurs when a HIV-positive woman passes the virus to the baby during pregnancy, labor, delivery, or after delivery through breastfeeding, and the risk is as high as 15 to 45% in the absence of any interventions. But this rate can be reduced to below 5% with effective intervention during this, these periods. The concept of protecting the, the baby from HIV is what we term prevention of mother-to-child transmission, PMTCT. But there's a paradigm shift now from PMTCT to EMTCT, elimination of mother-child transmission. According to the World Health Organization, the risk of mother-child transmission can almost be eliminated if both the mother and the baby are provided with antiviral drugs, the ARVs, as early as possible in pregnancy and during the period of breastfeeding. So the question is, why will the mother transmit HIV to her baby? Well, sometimes HIV positive mothers have good intention. They believe their babies will be fine and HIV will not be their baby's portion. But beloved, good intention is not, is not enough. We have to put our hands to the power to make our good intention a reality. Don't be caught up in lifelong pains and sorrow of living with the guilt that you didn't do the much you could to protect your baby from HIV. In the words of Byron Spinoza, the highest activity a human being can attain is learning for understanding because to understand is to be free. For some reason, some mothers hear these things about PM to city either during counseling sessions when they go for testing or during the general health talks in antenatal clinics and they drop information as soon as they hear it and some months down the line they are filled with guilt and regret seeing their children suffer all sorts due to HIV infection from medical problems to social problems to poor academic growth because they are in and out of the hospital and sometimes the children even die without living to their maximum potential some mothers are afraid of embracing the options of protecting their babies because of fear of stigmatization. They don't want babies to be given ARVs. They hide from relatives, so they break all the rules because they want to appear normal and care for their babies, same way others who are HIV negative do. First and foremost, your status is held in utmost confidentiality between you and your caregiver. And secondly, you all know one no explanations as to how to give your baby the best care. Don't be intimidated by those who seem to have everything perfectly in check and working super well. Walk in your path. Just keep your eyes on the goal. Please, mothers, do this for our future generation. Let us save them from HIV because we can. Yes, we can. Please get understanding. Understanding brings freedom. Have an open mind. Embrace help. It is easier to prevent a baby from HIV infection than to manage the condition. And to, and to everyone out there watching and listening to this, let us be supportive and encourage those who are infected with HIV. Now, how do I know I'm HIV positive from pregnant? The first is know your status. Get tested as soon as possible, especially during preconception care. This provides you with ample time to control your viral load and get pregnant in an optimum state. Preconception care is the care you go for before pregnancy. There's a full video on this in my channel. Just check it out. 
But if you're already pregnant, still get tested and know your status, PM to CT can be successfully achieved once you do all your doctor tells you. Note that there's a concept of window period, the period between the onset of um, HIV infection and when the test will show that the person is infected. During this period, it might be negative, so you need to check again. We've already said how somebody can get infected with HIV and AIDS, you know, from a mother. Now, how does HIV cause illness? I'm going to explain this in detail to help you gain understanding. So please just be patient with me. HIV invades the CD4 cells. The CD4 cells are also called T lymphocytes. They are white blood cells. So they are in the blood and they fight infection. They play an important role in your immune system. So a higher number indicates a stronger immune system. It is measured as CD4 counts. What we count is the number of cells in a cubic millimeter of blood and not all the CD4 cells in your body. The normal count is between 500 and 1,500 cells per cubic millimeter of blood. So, CD, CD4 cells are just food soldiers. They are always on ground to fight off infections and illnesses. Unfortunately, the HIV targets the CD4 cells because they have receptors on their surfaces for the virus to bind. And once your food soldiers are overpowered, these viruses gain entrance to your whole body and cause various illnesses. With invasion of HIV, the CD4 cells die off slowly over a period of time, and as the number of CD4 cells declines, the, number, the body is less able to fight off infection, and the person is said to become immune suppressed. Remember the name? Human immunodeficiency virus, so immune system becomes deficient, hence the virus gains dominance. Modern child transmission of HIV is linked to viral load. In general, the lower the viral load, the lower the risk of infection. For this reason, ARVs is you know recommended throughout pregnancy for mothers who are HIV um, positive, so that viral load will remain as low as possible, and the risk of transmission is also reduced. Picture it this way. The virus and the body immunity are fighting. Whoever gains an upper hand gets the baby. If the vir viral load shoots up, it gets the baby. If the antibodies in the form of CD4 cells dominate, it protects the baby. How do I prevent you know, mother child transmission? The best time to prevent mother child transmission is preconception time before you get pregnant. So please know that there are ways to do this. And um, in the continuation of this very video, we're going to see all the things we do step by step to protect our babies from HIV because we can do that. Once again, my name is Julian Aume and this particular knowledge is continuing in the next video. Please just do well to finish it up to the end. Thank you very much and see you immediately.